this week's guest decided to cancel, and it's cool, it happens, so I'm making the most of it. So instead, I've got myself a little bit of a life potion, I've got a little bit of magic, I'm going to go ahead and start creating an elixir right now, waiting for all you beautiful people at home to show up and uh, get ready for these antics. Let's just do a small pour. Yeah, that's about right. Just about half a glass. <laughs> it's cool. Alright, now we add some life potion. So... Alright. Let that face for a little bit. It's cool like that. I drank this shit all the time after I got out of college. I probably should have drank it while I was in college, but, eh, you know, YOLO, swag, that kind of thing. So, let's go ahead and tell everybody. Hopefully, people are a part of this and want to hang out. Mm. Ah, good elixir. Just like I remember it. Nice. Ah, so... This is going to be a fun stream. This is something I actually haven't done before. I went out of my way to uh, get a D20. Hey, Brian, how you doing, man? It's good to see you. Um, I'm doing all right. I am doing quite all right. Uh, I got, I bought, I went to IKEA today. I feel the need to tell everybody that. If you don't know me personally, I am mostly Swedish, so I see it as going back to the motherland to get, you know, whatever I need to get in terms of furniture. I've already got a Calyx unit over here with a whole bunch of crap just, like, kind of thrown in there. I'll figure out how to make that work eventually, but, uh, yeah, I'll make that work. Um, I decided to buy a D20 off the cuff at the store down the street because this is going to help me um, figure out which of these names is going to go up here in our adventure for tonight's um, live stream. So I've got a whole bunch of really good ones right over here. Uh, I do have a couple of favorites, but this it's not about favorites. It's about what the D20 is going to tell you. Anybody who's ever played Dungeons & Dragons before knows exactly what I'm talking about. You can crit on a 20. You can get a natural 1. You can get anything in between. But at the end of the day, Dungeon Master rules all. So let's go ahead and start this live stream, shall we? Yeah, I want to give this a whack. Give it a whack. All right. Give it the old whack. Give it the old whack. Alright, cool everybody. Welcome to another episode of 16 Bit Heroes. I'm your guy Ian, and with me is, well, myself as Link, because we're going to have, go ahead and play Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link on the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. And we're doing this because I frigging love this game. This game really does take me all the way back to, what, 88, 87? To, this is one of like the first games that I remember going into an actual store and buying. My dad took me to like a Fredder, which was like an electronic store a long time ago that existed. And I remember getting the whole thing in the case, like the gold cartridge, everything. I'm going to go ahead and start this. I love that screen. I love that original screen. Just the oh, the shooting star in the background. I always forget that there's a shooting star in the background. But, um, for everybody that's just tuning in, please come in, hang out, you're more than welcome to be here. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, let this intro play out. Sip on my potion. Bogus, thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure to have you here. Ugh, oh, goodness. I always forget that I'll just bring it up. Soda, so carbonated, it just makes you more involved. That's alright. Uh, oh man, I haven't I haven't rolled a D20 in so long. I miss it. I really do miss it. So anybody who's ever played Dungeons and Dragons before, say hell yeah. I mean, it really is a fun game to play if you've got individuals around people who are also invested in it. So I would recommend it if you've got friends. If you don't have friends, find friends. Go to like a game store or go to any place you can think of where people will get together and start playing this shit. Alright, so. You 
basically just saw the entire intro. I guess we can let it play one more time. Just, I'll read it out loud. It'll be nice for everyone. After Ganon was destroyed, Impa told Link the sleeping spell was cast on Princess So She will wake only when the power of number three Triforce sealed in a palace in Hyrule. To break the seal, crystals must be placed in statues in six well-guarded palaces. Link set out on his most adventurous quest yet in 1987. So, there you go. That's the intro of this whole game. That's all you get. Nothing fancy, nothing like the first game where they give you a whole bunch of icons of what shit is. We're just gonna go right into it. Alright, so let's go ahead and register a name. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start by listing off... Well, you know what, I'm gonna come up to the, com to the camera. Hopefully you guys can read this. Can you read this? Alright, so we got 16BH Link, Morty, Neil, Bagels. Uh, what else is here? I think that's... Tacos. Tacos is important. Uh, my dude, bag, kitten mitten, 80085. If you know how to speak uh, calculator, that's good. Uh, Zelda, Link182. Ha ha ha, that's funny for all you pop punkers. Spooples, Pickles, Pokemon. That's always good if you're into Bill Cosby. Triforce, Vic Viper, LinkedIn. That's clever. Dude guy, and then we'll just leave the other two as, uh, you know, other. So, here we go. The first number is 15. So 15 goes to Triforce for right now. You got one under your belt. And the next one is 17. 17 goes to LinkedIn. Wow, I'm rolling high numbers already. This is cool. Let's do this again. One more time, just a little bit of feeling. 14. 14 goes to Pokemon. So, Pokemon, you got one under your belt, too. Let's see. 13. Pickles. I like pickles. Pickles are alright. Fried pickles are my jam, honestly, but, you know, could be worse. 12. I'm just rolling all of them. Spooples, you're getting a call, too. Nice. Always good. I feel like I should be doing a little bit better here. 14 it is! So 14 goes to Pokemon, and I'm going to go ahead and spell it out right now. I am not making this up. Somebody else made it up instead, so... I want to give a big shout out to Jim Landry for that contribution, and everybody else who contributed to this. Thanks for the suggestions. Alright, Pokemon, let's see what you're made of. Huh? Well, there's Zelda, showing, doing her thing. Let's get the hell out of here. Not much good to us when she's sleeping. So, I'm already gonna start going here. Okay. Not a whole lot I can do right now because, you know, I'm just friggin' late. That's all. Underpowered late can't do anything. If you're wondering how I know that those things are there, I've got a lot of memory with this thing. But it's cool, because if you pay real close attention to the floor, where everything is like, you know, kind of residing, stuff moves around a little bit, so you can kind of pick up on that. You can kind of run across little gaps like that, too. So that's pretty cool. The little projectile thing, you know, if you remember the original Legend of Zelda, or pretty much any Legend of Zelda game, that's, that's cool. So, right now I'm going into the cave. Yep. 
So, the game, there is an item out there. Okay, so, I've already got enough experience points to let me know how this whole thing works. So, if you get enough experience points throughout the game, you can eventually level up. So your life meter, your magic meter, your attack meter, either one of those, depending on how many experience points you have, can go up to the next stage. I do not want to do any of that except for attack power. And I'm saying this because, well, attack power is really important, and it's also the most expensive out of all of them to level up. I'll get to uh, why I do this in a little while, but I'm going to cancel for right now. And another thing I wanted to mention about what I'm doing right now... Yeah! So, there's a trophy. That's cool. So, in this game, you are some... Whoa. Is that a bat? What was a bat that was hanging out there? That's strange. Okay, so I'm gonna go to here. Why? Because I know there's something. Something that is kind of sort of helpful. Not really, but this thing, it's a pee bag. So, what does a pee bag do? Points! It's a bag of points! You get rich and you can level up your guy way faster. So, I'm going to go ahead and follow this path, so, back to what I was talking about earlier, there are a total of eight magic spells that you have to look for, that you can learn in this game. You can get a total of eight magic spells. The thing is, you only really need half. You only need half of them, and the half that you need are the ones that you have to go out of your way. For example, you saved the trophy! Come see my uncle! I don't know why those two are related in the same sentence, but, I mean, this game is full of a lot of punctuation errors and just questionable English. So, back to the basement. Here we go. So, I'm gonna bring it up. So, Brian, I'm sorry I didn't get back to you. Uh, the list was just to determine how we were going to name this adventure, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and say on Twitch real quick what the name of our adventure is, because Jim Landry needs to see this. If any of you guys know who a Jim Landry is, tell him. Tell him that I selected his name, because, well, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and There, now everyone can see it. Back to the business. So, you'll notice here that you have a magic spell listed with a number on the right side of it. To get a better understanding of what these numbers represent and why we even have any of these, the numbers represent how much magic it's going to use. So, 48 actually means magic bars. Boom. And unfortunately, when you leave an area, if you have a magic like jump or fairy, it goes away after you travel to the next screen. So, that was pretty useful. I'm not jumping any higher right now, but that's okay. Okay. Put me in your house. Thank you. So, she gives you magic. She gives you life, but I haven't been big yet, so let's keep it that way. Alright. Part of me wants to go down south and go into that cave, but it honestly is a lot harder to do most of these caves without a camera. I remember this game visually, I don't remember it in terms of timing. So, let's go to this cave instead. I love this battle. So, in this place, the first desert, or, well, it's called the Parappa Desert, but you only know that if you get the shield back in the what they call the Parappa Desert. But I'm gonna go south because there's a heart container down here. Whew! Alright, I 
I don't want to get popped by any of these bubbles, so... Let's just... Oh, well, that happened. Alright. And now I can't have any, uh, projectile dingy dingies. That's okay, we're working on, we don't need projectile dingy dingies. Just stab them in the penis. Alright, here we go. Keep moving. out of here and back to the first castle. Try not to get caught by any of these words. Or bubbles or whatever. They hurt they hurt a lot though. I mean if you saw how much damage it did to me when I got hit by the first one, that, that sucked. That was not fun. That was the equivalent of getting punched in the face. You take about like two or three three or four more punches and you black out, so like Yeah, pretty dangerous stuff. Don't play with bubbles unless you're a trained professional. There we go. Okay, now we're at our first palace. Now the goal of this game is to go to all six of these palaces. Use the crystals that you have in your pocket. You'll see like a time six at the bottom of this menu. You need to use these crystals, pop them in there, and basically seal these guys up. So we're going to start with the first castle, because honestly, this game works way better if you do it in... Order. Is it possible for you to not go in chronological order? Eh, to some degree, but like, I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you know how to cheat your way around this game. Go ahead, do it. I want to see how you do it. Because I, I like doing, um, I like doing sequence breaking. Sequence breaking's a lot of fun. If you know any games besides this one, like, the original Legend of Zelda, you can totally do sequence breaking. Games like Super Metroid and Symphony of the Night can also do sequence, sequence breaking. Where you don't exactly have to follow what the, where the game tells you to go, you just kind of do it on your own board. You know, this ain't one of those games, as far as I'm concerned. But, I mean, I've been wrong before, so please, prove me wrong. Just kind of feel the way for that. Mr. Smiley's taking it in the face. Oh, not great. Nice! So, you'll see that when you get more and more XP, you can select anything on this list. Just the maximum one is going to be is going to interesting. So, if you get the maximum one that's here, for example, on this one that's attack, I already have 200 experience points. You cannot cancel it. I, I repeat, you cannot cancel it. You have to take an experience. You have to take something. So, I'll just take that. I'll just take free attack power, because that's what I told you. Attack power rules, and now he dies in three hits instead of four. Cancel. Keep going. Alright. Hopefully things will still be a little bit easier to kill. Running, running, running. What's over here? Nope, don't care. It's a fairy. Fairies are cool, but. I really don't need that fairy right now. So you'll notice, like, I keep ducking a lot when I keep, you know, doing my attacks. Honestly, like, it may be just, like, repeated habit or something, but it seems to work pretty well for me in terms of attacking and keeping on the run, so... Let's keep running. Let's keep running. Okay. What's up, Cyclops? Magic. I don't really need it, though. <laughs> okay, so... You saw that, like, I just wasted my jump magic twice. Just to kind of sort of prove a point. With these red bottles of magic that you can collect, it fills up your whole, it fills up your whole magic meter, but only to your max. So, for example, if you have five capsules or whatever right there, you're only going to get five capsules worth of magic magic. It's not like it goes on forever or it has, or it has potential to give you eight or anything. It's like, no, you're only going to get the maximum five. So keep that in mind if you're trying to use magic around one of these uh, red bottles. So let's go down and take care of
Benji with me, damn it! So many skulls, I'm such a pain in the ass. The good news is that if you strike anything once, then it becomes... It won't affect you until it is done flashing. Come on, get down here! I don't want to deal with you up there. Fine, I'll deal with you up there. And it sounds like a really, really wussy thing to do, but when you have a life power of one, you really can't afford to get hit by one. Including these blue slimes. Especially these blue slimes that jump at you and you don't tell you. Alright, go away. There we go. Yeah, in the face. Oh, for, for real? Ugh. That would have been 50 good magic. Okay. Here's an iron knuckle or a gold shitty version of it. There we go. Alright, cool. I got a candle. That rules. So I'm going to take this opportunity to have a little bit more of a elixir. Say hi to everybody. Another couple of things to notice with the menu is that you have the times two, or the dude that kind of looks like a weird version of Mario from Mario Brothers, and you got a keys, and you have your oh, excuse me, crystal. So one is actually extra lives. This is one of the I think it's like one of the only games actually in the entire uh, Zelda franchise that has the extra lives concept. Why? Couldn't tell you, but it seems to make a little bit of sense. I, I get it, I get it. So, here we go. Let's keep going. Oh, you're back. Great. Come on. Good, great. See, that's what I was talking about. I got hit once by it. Suck, yeah, there it goes again. It, it takes out a whole box. But the good news is that I'm not going to have to worry about that after I get that fairy, because that fairy is going to replenish just about everything! That's going to be cool. Alright. Running, keep on running. Yeah! Alright, fill up that life meter for my give me back. Well, let's hope for the best now. So oh, look. Yeah, if you ever get sick of having to deal with any of those guys in a tight spot, that's a pretty good technique you can use to uh take your sword and basically just go from Take him out top and bottom style. And I say that because you can only block one or the other. It's not going to be fast enough to take care of both. So. I'm not going to have enough experience points to do what I really want to do. Like so. Go up. That's good. Magic will life will go up? Nah. Magic will go up? Nah. So the reason why I'm doing all of this is because after we go ahead and destroy the boss of this castle, we're gonna end up at a statue. That's... Okay, I just like really screwed up right there. I have to go back and collect something. So, the reason why I have to go back and correct this now is because I want to make sure that the amount of experience points that I have is enough to 
to get me over the hump of the life and the magic port and go be straight to the next vista. If I go ahead and I beat the boss now as it stands, I will have it will only fill up to probably my next magic. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and sit here forever this is skull face So what I'm probably going to end up doing is that I think it's like 50, 100, 150, 200. We'll figure out how much experience I actually need, but I think I want to go ahead and upgrade my life a bit because I'm going to screw that up. Okay, 300. So now I need to have at least 300 experience points after I beat the boss to make sure that I can get the most out of my... Uh, my winning is this castle, so let's go ahead and do the other way of the out of this castle. It sucks when you don't have a downstab, because the downstab makes things so much easier. But, like, when you're just, you know, bashing the friggin' B button just to make sure that this thing dies, it pushes you back a little bit, you'll notice that. And... Well, yeah, it pushes you back a little bit. It sucks. I feel really silly for hitting the start button. That was really not my fault. But hey, okay, here we are, Pokemon. Here we are. Slide 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 well, the good news is that if I have a life 2 and a magic it means that, like, it will take less magic and maybe cast my spells, which is good because you have a magic power of 4 and everything is really expensive. And when you have a life power of 2, things don't hurt nearly as bad. I don't really want to prove that theory just yet, but it'll, it'll happen naturally on its own. Kill this guy and then one more, and then we're gonna go ahead and fight the boss. And I say that because I know that the boss is only gonna give me 50 minutes to beat him. And it'll, put, it'll be enough to put me over the top. Good old. Alright, now let's go back the way that we came. And I did that because some of the enemies respawn, like the blue slimes and the skull heads, they all respawn. But the more powerful characters, like the Snafflos that I pulled over here, or the Knuckles, or the freaking Cyclops looking dude, none of them are coming. None of them are coming back unless you leave the castle and go back there, but I have no idea. Alright, so, boss number one. Prepare to die. Horse man. This is a series of this. If I'm not careful, we'll swat that. You know, it will not be great. But now he's dead. Alright. Cancel. Well, take the key. Now we're gonna go ahead and plant this seed. One down, five to go. And just like that, now I have an attack power of four, and I've only, I've only beaten the first castle. Hey, look, it turned into a mountain. Sweet. So I guess when the uh, you go ahead and do that thing, everything turns into mountains. Or at least the palace is going into mountains. And now you can see what you're doing over there. This is cool. Everything's nice and bright and colorful and vibrant and obnoxious and bright. It's a good time. Alright. So. Okay. So, that time right there, at the bottom, gives you a shield. A shield magic. We're going to go ahead and just not do half of this guy. We'll probably go back and get all the actual proper magics for part two. But right now, I just kind of want to prove the concept that you don't really need most of the magic in this game. So I'm going to go down here. Let's run through this.
The cool part about shield magic is that you take half damage. But again, you don't need to have it, it's just a nice thing to have. So, that it took a little bit less math. Actually, a little me. So you can get extra lives in this game. There's not very many of them, and when you get them, you can't get them again. So when we save this and we have to go back and you know do the rest of this game, I'm not gonna be able to pick up the extra lives that I've already picked up. So sometimes hate these forest parts because the enemies when they show up on on the map, they don't have to. Hey, what's this? It's a house. What's up, man? Who are you? Bagu is my name. Show my note to River Bagu is a cool name. I think that. Yeah. I'm just gonna pour myself a little bit more elixir. I'll probably end up finishing like three classes worth of elixir by the time I'm done with this stream. Alright, so Riverman wants me to wants to know Bagu, I guess, or something. I don't know. So I'm back around this way. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and venture out to get some more key bags. Because again, like I wanna get as much experience as possible to elevate my attack game, attack power as much as I possible. Because when you're able to kill things in like one or two hits, it makes this game a lot easier, faster, and, oh, I enjoy it. I, I think it's fun. Alright, cancel. And you'll see like the giant disparities in like how much experience you really need in order to get some of this stuff. So, there you go. There's a pee bag. 200! So, Nikki Boom, I see you! I see you, Nikki Boom! I hope you're hanging, I hope you're down! Put your beers on. Put your beers on, kid. Alright. Here we go. Nothing. Cool. Going. So, if you land on any of these roads with, like, yeah, with one of these monsters, it doesn't matter which it is, it's just gonna show up. Which is nice. I don't know. I like taking this bridge more than the other one. Way easier. I, I prefer bubbles over flying fish, so... And by flying fish, I mean flying dead skeleton fish, so... Yeah, those things suck. I really do. Hey, look, there's another just random forest. Another looking cat. Yeah, hungry. Points, points, points. It's all about getting the points. Alright, here we go. So in this town, you can get life magic, which is pretty quintessential in a game like this, honestly. Because you can use your magic to get your life back. And you can collect magic while you're playing this game, so it works out. We're not getting it. We're not doing that. We're just gonna go ahead and fly right through everybody and see. What are you? Hey, look, you're a bat! Piss off! Hey, what are you? No? You're cool. 
What's up? <sighs> cool. You know Bagu? I do know Bagu. I met him that one time that I did in that shack that nobody ever heard of before. Cool. I'm across. You can jump in there and kill yourself. If you want to jump in there and kill yourself, you can. I wouldn't recommend it. And that bridge will go away every single time you come back to it. You have to tell the river man that you want to cross it. Okay, so everybody's favorite part is now coming. This is called Death Mountain. So, let's preface and say, there's a bunch of different ways you can go, but there's only one way you can really go to get to the hammer, which is the one thing that we need from this entire experience. Here we go! So, let's begin. Whoa! So sometimes enemies will drop pee bags instead of, you know, magic. Or sometimes they'll drop red magic if they're that special. Alright, keep on going. Just stick to the right. these guys, you're going to die. So, they throw axes at you. You say, oh well, they just throw axes at you. But the axes do an ass load of damage, as it just showed his right now. But you can kill him, and it is possible. I just did it, so it felt pretty good. Thank god my life was at a 2, as opposed to a 1, because that thing would have taken out way more health if I just like, slipped up right there. What I got hit by, but it took out a good amount of health on my end. Shit! I am glitching to life. Just clutching my buttocks real tight. I don't even know how much life that is. I think that's like four points, maybe three points. Oh, we're getting close to the end now. Alright, so this part seems dangerous because he's freaking. Dino guys are just assholes and they charge at you and it looks like you can't really do anything about it. You time it right though, you can do it. It's not too terrible. Let me die on all these red fucking slimes. Whoa! That dude came in hot. Alright. Good thing he's dead. Good thing the red guys don't even jump. That's definitely. Last one. Oh, good. son of a bitch! Ugh. Well, the blue guys jump at least. Great. Good luck, Pokemon. Show how much you know. Oh shit! All right, don't want to deal with him. Sometimes the projectile is honestly pretty annoying. Is it? Not everything gets hurt by the projectile. In fact, it just like kind of pushes some of these guys away. <laughs> doesn't do anything, and it's really stupid, but... Uh, Alright, come on, blue guy. There you go. That suck. Alright, I don't even need that, so we'll just keep going. And this is where the hammer hangs out. MC hammer. What's up? God damn it! Alright, 
So, with the red, those red friggin' axe-throwing dino guys, they either are gonna throw one at you, or they're gonna throw two at you. And if they throw two at you, you'd better be very quick with how you jump. Otherwise, he's gonna own you with at least one of those axes, and it's going to hurt you. It turns into like a freaking urn like that, and it doesn't help anybody. What's up, red guy? Ah! I ain't dealing with that. Not today. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go back and kill that little spiky thing that's coming at me. So. You can't kill him normally if you're, if you're just attacking him like that. You need to use the down stab, according to the game. But, if you do a trick like that, you can kill him on the spot. It's kind of easy to do, honestly, so I would recommend doing it when appropriate. This is not the appropriate time. I have enough life to the point where it's not beeping incessantly after this, but... That beeping gets really annoying and obnoxious and kind of just raises your stress level immediately. And for forever, so that happens. Alright, here we go. Back up. Somehow. I mean, I took a death. That's fine. I'll live with that. <laughs> now I can destroy boulders that look like that. And it's helpful because it allows me to get stuff like this. Magic! I mean, I only have one spell right now, but we'll make more magic work. It'll be good. Whatever. So, I like this spot. I'll use my jump magic. But if you can inch slowly, and you can kind of sort of see the the Octorok over there on the right hand side, if you go far enough, he'll start launching projectiles at you. But if you can keep him off screen and you can kind of time when he jumps, you can make this whole thing mostly hard. So you don't find yourself being screwed by uh, oncoming rocks getting thrown at you. Alright, done. Now I guess the play here is that like you're supposed to be picking up this hammer after you completed the second uh, fortress or whatever. Or castle or palace. Yeah, it's, it's called a palace. So, I decided against that. <laughs> Mostly because I want to have that sweet hammer so I can do cool things with it. Okay. And I'm dead! Crap! Okay. Let's try this again. Going. Oh. I'm not doing well today. 
tons of games. Well, we've got plenty of uh, experience to get into the next uh, mini. Alright, so there's another one of minis right there. Good job, doing its own thing. I'm gonna get out of here, I don't really want to walk out this way. I'm already in the big ol' ass graveyard. Here's what I'm going to go ahead and do. There's a folder I can store right here. Damn it! Hard now, sit. Right. No crazy movements from those guys. I think they're called MP. Yeah. I think they're called Sometimes this game will give you an impromptu fairy, that's always nice. But only sometimes, I mean, you really have to grind it out and hope for the best every single time you go looking for something like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and destroy a couple of forests. Go straight upwards. Because I want to get... Medicine. And it's not medicine because I'm sick or anything, it's medicine because somebody else is sick. This is gonna give us very magic. Yes, very fucking magic is important. Uh, fish! Get away from me! Alright. Good, you're dead. Alright, cool, now we have an attack power of 5. This is gonna be a little bit easier. 1, 2, 3! You're dead. That's cool. Keep moving. 1, 2, 3! You're dead too. No, I want to go to 3,000. Yes! That's medicine. Medicine is good for you. Okay, let's keep trying. Let's get our dead fish. Oh my dead. God damn it, it happened again. And it's awful because some of these enemies, especially these undead fish or whatever, the undead fish will take your experience points if they whack it. So, that, that really, really sucks. All that hard work that you do for those points. Every single time you get hit, it's like a minus 10. I think it's minus 10. Yeah, it's minus 10. Alright. Now well, let's go ahead and travel all the way out back to this town. Hey, look, there's a fairy. Wish I could. Beep. I'll get lights from you instead. This thing is a great dress. Weird because it looks like there's a door just up top, like big old freaking sanctuary. But we can jump to it. And this is important because this is where you get the 
iconic, and also very important, downstab thing. There he is. I can do this! And this is gonna make the game a little bit easier for us, because a lot of enemies die that way, and, well, a lot of enemies are way easier to kill this way, too. So, that's good. Now, this, she'll give you magic. And it's funny because this magic really is infinite when you get it from the lady. I can mean, just keep casting you jump at it forever and ever. And Friggin' Emma, and it's never gonna go away. Okay, it went away that time. Shit, alright, well... Shows how much I know. Sorry. So, this lady whose house I just entered in, Willy Billy, she needs the medicine because I guess somebody's sick. And the guy who lives in her basement is going to teach you a magic word that'll give you power. And it turns out you do need to have fairy magic in order to progress. So, if you think you can get away with not using fairy magic, sorry. You can't. I mean, unless you know a sweet trick that will allow you to get around certain areas without using fairy magic. I mean, there are weird... Uh, there are weird ways to work. There are very weird ways to work, but I am not proficient at it. I've tried it, and it does not work. I am not that high tech when it comes to glitching and stuff out and timing everything properly, so that's cool. I mean, for those who can do it, good on you. Again, I'm just not one of those. Keep on going. Damn it! Now we're going into the Swamp Palace. We're almost there. We're not quite there yet. Ah, fucking... Come on. Uh, the slippage is real. This is not good. See? Now those enemies take your fucking experience too. So, these statues right here, they oftentimes will drop magic potions. Sometimes they're red guys, but most of the time it's a magic potion, so... I think in this palace it's always a magic potion. Let's just go on downstairs. Let's see what's happening down here. how much of a, a difference power adjustments in this game Yep, got him. It's kind of important to get as many keys as you can possibly find, even though some rooms are like a locked key with a key in it. Oh, man, it doesn't really serve a purpose, but that was cool. That was cool, too. That could have, they could have sucked, but it didn't. Nice. Alright, so I've got one extra life, so if I decide to be a game and get myself killed real fast, I can allow myself the opportunity. And if not, I'll pick up that extra life. Cool. Now we 
야, 지금 뒤에 잘르는데요 God, and they suck too. Okay, so those bricks, if you don't have a thing called the power glove, you can't break it. But if you do get the power glove, you can break it. Guess where the power glove is? This room. Alright, red guy. Yeah, the red guys are just as tough as the yellow. Seriously, 
I say that very seriously because... Let's see if I can go here. Nope. I think I gotta do a little bit of grinding first, so I just wanna go. We're over a long haul, we can do this. We only got this. We only got this place, and then we got the next place up to do any of the series work. So. There's always an opportunity for a red guy to show up if you're hoping for a red guy, so keep that in mind whenever you go up on Alright. Okay, so here's the part where I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. I want to get how old this is. Then we'll start leveling up everything else a little bit more. Keep in mind, we do have to make sure that we have at least 300 experience points by the time we finish killing the boss. Well, in this case, the boss. If we still have one and one, we can one. I screwed up, I'll admit to it. The good news is that more attack power, this goes by over here a little bit faster. So, let's take this opportunity to go ahead and thank everybody who's been doing all the shares and all the, uh, the likes and paying attention and tuning in and being a part of this. Like, honestly, having anybody come in here and hanging out and watching play video games and say hello and like, I appreciate all of it. I really do. Make sure that if you're watching, stay tuned for the credits. I like, make sure to throw out all a bunch of names out there for all the people and sharing and just helping spread the word since we've been here. Seriously, it's really cool to be a part of something that I want to show my fans. We're all part of the credits. Take a look. But we're not there yet, because we still have to beat this castle. We still have to beat the next one. And then once we decide we head on over to West Hyrule, we'll go ahead and call it. We might be for a while. <laughs> it's only 50 experience points every single time I hop up on these guys. Let's see what that Oh, 
kill four more and I'll have my attack power. Then, then let's say we'll kill like four more after that, and that should give us like, I think the boss gives us one hundred and fifty points. Which should be more than enough to get us over the next one. And then you'll really see why this is such a cool little trick that I pull off. Because a lot of people that I know is like when they play Zelda 2, like they don't level up nearly as fast because they're not aware of this little skill. But it also takes a little bit of skill to be able to beat some of these levels with the low magic, low life variables or values that they So Nice! 100, 350, or 300, 150, you know, that. Go ahead and kill more of these guys. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. Get him right under the bag. Get him right under the bag. Tickle him a little bit. Alright, so you'll see that it's 150, 300, 5,000. We're gonna cross over that 5,000 pretty easily, so it'll be nice. It'll be really nice. Now we get to run all the way back to the boss. Now that I finally did the thing that I said. Because I had to ask him super, super bad. Dude, Neil, I'm glad that you're that you love this game. I love this game too. See ya in one, two, three, in your face. Dead. That's the beauty of having a high attack power, is that you can get oh, 200. Okay. So 150, 300, nah. Let's cancel that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unlock the statue. Let the game be the rest of the world. Cheers. Power of seven. And this is only the second. This is only the second level. Or palace or whatever. I never get this terminology right. It's alright though. We're here to have fun, right? So, 8,000 is my next attack uh, power, and I'm going to still let the statue take care of that when we get to the end of it. So, let's just go ahead and start leveling up everything else. I'm going to keep that up. Do this thing. Now we go straight from this point all the way down. See ya! Take this game 
that's a good experience. Alright, I'll allow it. That's cool. Fairy! Seeing a lot of these same like combos, blue, you know, squid looking thingy that crawl on the ground, plus the blue, you know, boomerang dudes. Okay, next one. Here we go. Now we're in Palace Number 3. Not the Palace Number 3 that was described in this game, actually, it was Triforce. Uh, I will level up my life. Screw it. Let's just do it. So 400, 700, those are the new tallies that we have right now. And remember, we just have to make sure that we get up to whatever our biggest one is. Son of a bitch. Because that's going to, de that's going to, de de that's going to determine... How much extra work you really have to do. There are places you can, you know, build your experience in every single one of these palaces. There are plenty of enemies that will just stop. Uh, plenty of enemies that will respawn and just continue to be points. So we all know that we like to build bigger guys. Way more than we like to build smaller ones. So you notice that when I got a life up, it fills up everything. It's I think that. Alright, so it looks like my next, uh, my next up is going to be this up. Come on, damn it. There we go. So if you get a running start, you can, as Nate, if you get a running start, you can clear three bricks. And if you're only walking, you can only, you can only get up to two. You know? So, if you time this right, you can kind of do a little bit of a hop like that. You don't even have to have a uh, jump. Which is nice. Look, look at that. God damn it, red guy! Maybe this will answer anything that we're looking for. Oh well. We'll find another way to get it. areas right here where they have all these blocks. Because the goal the reason why they have the blocks is so that way you don't just ferry across it and you cheat your way through. That would be really, really easy to do. But this game needs to give you some sort of challenge, right? Exactly what we need to get the hell out of here. Uh, and now that they've all returned, uh, I'm gonna keep that fairy magic on tap in case I screw up and just jump off and fall into the pit of despair. And I didn't. Small victory.
dog heads in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I'm gonna get it. Screw it. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Points will matter. 700 and 800? Huh. I guess the real question is whether or not I want to save that or if I want to spend it. Um, I'm gonna buy that. Screw it. We're gonna go ahead and do it. There's gotta be a way to level up all of this uh, experience. Still got a straight face. Honestly, oh, these dog heads are not doing anything. Alright, there's four of these stupid dog heads on the screen now, and. Now what? Well, it looks like four is the maximum of the other two. Fuck it, I'm just gonna ferry out of here. <laughs> this is silly. Come on. Hey, get out of my way. Here they give you an option to either fight the red guy or the blue guy. The answer is obvious. Let's take out the blue guy. Why? Because he's got the red guy. Bounce tab is so important because you won't be able to get to the end of this one part, one part of this level without it. Twelve hundred? Shit. All right. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to build up quite a little bit of uh, extra in order to get past twelve hundred. So. Backtrack just a little bit. We'll beat up some of those friggin' dog heads. And I think 300 points is what we get for beating the boss of this palace. So if we theoretically get all the way up to 900, we should be in good shape. Remember, a lot of these enemies will often take your experience, so that's not fun. Alright, I did what I needed to do. Let's go ahead and beat this boss. Going on down! Go on in. We re I really don't need any. This boss actually like really really sucks because one of the 
big traits of the Iron Knuckle. So he runs away from you like a pansy that gets too close. Then he ends up off screen, and what and then what I hit him, but it turns out that he was far enough off screen that I didn't do crap. God damn it! Alright, Pokemon, let's try this again. This is our last life, and we gotta make this count. Alright. Man, that sucked. I hate this boss. I hate fighting against this. This will go a lot, lot better. I already tell. And it doesn't. I'm losing my goddamn patience with this guy. Get back over here, you turn! Hate how he can attack you, but you can't attack him. God damn it! Inconvenience. Yes, finally. There's my legs. All right, I'm not gonna take that. Go ahead and take that key. Get out of here. God damn it, that was stressful. That was unnecessary. Yeah, that was unnecessary. Yes. Right. And it just keeps it keeps going long after you. Now, my attack power is 8. And 8 is the maximum. So, you cannot get better than 8. Which is cool. So, we haven't even left West Hyrule yet. We've already got a maximum attack power. So, needless to say, dudes are not going to be fucking with us right now. Alright, let's go to the holy place. Nope, kidding. And let's go ahead and board that ship. Get the hell out of here. We'll just we'll go ahead and call this adventure from here. So how we do that is from here. Uh, we have to go ahead and uh, get into some trouble. So whoa, didn't mean to do that. But we're gonna pause it, and then with the second controller that I have right here, I'm gonna hit up and A. And it'll bring us to a continue save screen. That'll just save us the trouble of having to die. Because I really don't want to do that. Go ahead and save. And unfortunately it does, you know, remove one extra life from you right there. But thank you for tuning in. I mean, this has been fun hanging out with you guys and getting through West Hyrule. And we will be doing this again another time in the future to conquer the rest of this game. Next week for 16-Bit Heroes, I am not going to be doing a live stream because I'm going to be hanging out at PAX East. So if you're going to be hanging out at PAX East on Saturday, I mean, I'm going to be around pretty much all day. So come on, hang out. We'll talk about feeling, video games, whatever the hell you want. But no live stream next week. The weekend after, we're going to have a pretty special live stream for that one. So make sure you stick around for that, okay? Thanks again for tuning in. I've been your guy, Ian, the 16-Bit Heroes, and we will see you again shortly, okay? Take care of yourselves.